Today I'm going to review and show you how to install the Yolink FlowSmart all-in-one smart water meter and automatic shutoff device. From the app on your phone, at a glance, you can see the meter reading, the water temperature, today's usage, this month's usage, and you can program schedules. We'll take a look at all of this later. Of course, you can also control the valve from your phone. I'm just sending the open command and you'll see in a second, the device responds, the light flashes and the display confirms the valve is opening. And in a second, you'll see the meter reading start to increment as the water starts to flow. Now this can be installed really anywhere in your house, but I already have a Yolink device on my main house shutoff. So in this case, I'm going to install this on the line that feeds my pool. And that will give me two things. One, I'll know exactly how much water the pool is using. And secondly, I will be able to control when the pool fills and I can shut it off whenever I want. Well, let's take a closer look at the device itself before we install it. And here it is. Um, you know, one of the things I love about Yolink is their hardware is always great. This feels really solid. The arrow indicates the direction of flow in the water. So make sure you install it in the right direction. Now it does come in three different sizes. So there's a half inch, a three quarter inch and a one inch. Choose the one that obviously is right for your pipes. It's powered by a built in 10 year battery, but that is replaceable there's instructions on how to do that. And if you want to, you can also power it by uh, DC power as well. The cover flips open to reveal the LCD display, which will give you a real time readout of the meter reading. It will also tell you when the device is opening or closing, for example. And the whole device is waterproof, so you can use it outside without any problem. So before we start the install, let's take a look at the supplied hardware. You've got um, what's called a spud coupling. That's the metal thing I'm holding, a rubber gasket and a nut, which holds all of that in place. And this would be a good time to tell you, I am not a plumber. I'm just a guy who likes doing DIY projects and putting them on the internet. Welcome to my channel. This is Scott Smart Home and I do smart home projects, DIY projects, solar, bunch of stuff. Check it out. If you're interested, please subscribe. Anyway, back to the install. So you get, you know, the same uh, hardware on both ends and I'm going to install it on this line. It's schedule 40 PVC, three quarter inch inner diameter, just over one inch outer diameter. So for both ends, I need this uh, three quarter inch schedule 40 female adapter. So it has female MBT threads, which screw into the end of the spud coupling. And then the other end is where your PVC pipe will go and you're going to use PVC cement. Those adapters were $1.05 from Lowe's. And the plan is it's going to go on this piece of pipe here. And so in a second, I'm going to measure it out. But before I do that, you want to consult the installation instructions. It does tell you how you can mount it either vertically or horizontally. There are some limitations. So just read the manual carefully. And you do have to keep it um, more than about five uh, diameters of the pipe away from a bend because that will affect the accuracy of the readings. Well, as the saying goes, measure twice and cut once. So hold up your assembled flow smart against your markings. Just make sure you're happy before you cut anything. So you take your uh, PVC cutters and you cut the pipe. It's that simple. Although at this point I'm realizing, I don't know if I've got the right tool because this tool I originally bought for doing landscape PVC. So I don't know if there's a bigger, better one for schedule 40. Let me know in the comments. Like I said, not a plumber. Anyway, it got the job done and now we're ready for the next stage. Now in the end of the spud coupling, we're going to use this pipe thread sealant to ensure there's a proper seal with that female adapter. And the end of the PVC adapter is going to be glued on to the ends of these two pieces of pipe. Now, these pipes have been painted, so uh, I use sandpaper to clean off all of the paint all the way around. because It's really important that you get a proper bond uh, with the glue that you're going to use. Make sure that you get the right PVC cement. You're going to have a primer and the cement itself. And there's different types for whether it's PVC, CPVC and so on. So. Read the packet carefully before you buy it. Start with the primer, then cement, a bit more primer, hold it for 30 seconds until it sets, and then you wait a couple of hours. Just read all the manufacturer's instructions to make sure you're doing it according to their specs. 
And then I repeated the same process for the other end of the pipe. So I came back after a couple of hours, attached the flow smart at the bottom first. Sorry, I somehow missed that on the video. And then finished off by connecting at the top end. And using two wrenches, one to hold the spud coupling in place, and then the other to actually tighten the nut, you can make sure you have a proper seal. Well, with the installation complete, it's time to pair it up to my Yolink app and test it out. So I'm gonna start by opening the valve and I'm gonna turn up volume in a second so you hear the valve opening. And you can see the meter reading immediately start to go up as the water starts to flow. Over at the pool filler, you can see the water coming in and now I'm going to demonstrate turning off the valve and we'll see the flow of water stop. It's just a matter of seconds for the water to stop flowing and it's pretty satisfying to watch. Well, it's hot outside, so let's head back inside and take another look at the app. And uh, you know, it is a water meter as well. So you can view usage hourly, daily or monthly. I've, at this point, I've been using it for one week. So there's one week of data and you just tap on each bar to see the summary, the total number of gallons used on each day. And just like other Yolink products, like their temperature sensors, you can export a CSV of the data. Now there's two ways that you can program this. You can use a countdown timer, which is literally just saying, you know, in 30 uh, minutes, I want to turn it on or in 30 minutes, I want to turn it off. It's uh, fully adjustable of course. And the other way you can program it is to set a schedule and you can set multiple schedules, different days of the week, different times and so on. Uh, I'm filling my pool just uh, in the early hours of the morning and I'll show you why in a second. But one of the really cool things about the schedule is these are actually saved locally on the device itself. So if the power goes out and your internet goes out, your water meter shut off will still open or close whatever you have set. Let's dive into the advanced settings. And first up, you can choose the unit of measure, so either gallons or cubic meters. And then you can set up your leak detection rules. So you can do it always or during a specific time. And then if a leak is detected, do you want to automatically shut off the valve? Then you um, specify what is a leak. So I'm going to put in uh, 100 gallons. You also have two other types of alerts. Um, first up, uh, the maximum continuous water usage, which is defined in gallons. And again, you have the choice of whether you want to automatically shut the valve off or just get an alert. Um, or until instead of usage, you can determine how long it's been running for. And again, it either gives you an alert or can do that, plus automatically shutting off the valve. And you'll see here that actually a couple of alerts were triggered, so I can view them here, but also uh, take smart actions when those things occur. So let's set up a smart automation. I have Yolink leak detectors all over my house. So let's say if one of those gets wet, I want to shut off the water to the whole house. Well, how would we do that? So you set up the rule for each device, if water is detected, and then you pick the device that you want to take an action on and in this case it's the flow smart i want to close that valve and shut off the water and protect the house from a potential catastrophic leak you can also set up alarm strategies so i have a water leak strategy and that will send me an app notification it will also send an email and then it will actually trigger an action in this case speaker hub as well as shutting off the water and then at the bottom, you have the history tab, which shows you all of the events, including open and close events, and also leaks and other alerts will show up here too. So how accurate is it? Well, let's check. So for this one day, I used 114 gallons to fill the pool. And for years, I've been using Flume. It's a smart device that is actually on the water meter that's in the street in front of my house. And that's why I'm filling the pool just between 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. so I can isolate just that usage because that device is measuring the entire water usage of my whole house, including the pool. So I'm gonna add up these three hours and the total was 115.9. And the Yolink total, 114. So 114 versus 116, really close. 
So overall, what do I think of the FlowSmart? I think it's a great all-in-one device. Not only can you shut off your water automatically, and it's so flexible in how you can do that, but as well as that, it is a water meter, so you can see exactly how much water you're using. The downside, of course, is that it does need installed. So either you do that yourself or you hire a plumber. And if you're not up for that, the good news is that Yolik has a smart shutoff valve that needs no plumbing and can be installed by anyone in about 20 minutes. Check out this video to learn more.